hi guys good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how i made a five by five closure using a slant or diagonal pattern okay so if you're interested in this video don't move keep watching this video <laughs> Okay guys, as you can see, I've started on the video already and as you can see, it's on a slant line. Kindly note that before watching this video, you have to know the basics of ventilating. This is not a video for beginners, it's a video for those that know the basics of ventilating, okay? You should know the slant method or the diagonal method all right you should also know how to ventilate i have a detailed video on how to ventilate for beginners you can go watch it i will drop the link in the description box below so you can check it out but this video, this particular video is for those that knows the basics already reason why i am Put, I put it on a fast forward. All right. So I also have a video on how I measured out the lace. As you can see underneath my lace, you will see some lines I drew. I have a video on that too, which I posted before this video. I will also put the link on the description box below so that you can watch it and know how you can measure out your five by five so that you know exactly what i am doing in this video this video serves just like a part two video all right so guys as you can see i am ventilating my hair this is a canicleon hair because that's what the client wanted and that's what i use in ventilating this five by five but i did it just the way you can ventilate your hair all right the only difference is that this i use a flat knot method that's a single knotting method all right but then you can ventilate your hair like this this particular closure is for braiding is for braided wigs so the reason why i use a canicle on hair that's an attachment if you're in nigeria so guys as you can see i in the first line i made i skipped one hole i skipped one hole then in between the lines i made if you can see what is happening in the video right now in between the lines i made I will be ventilating in between, not in lines, in between the lines I made before. All right. This will make your hair very full. It will give you that full impression. And the first line, I skipped one hole. Then this one I am doing right here, I will not skip any hole. Okay. I will do it at the hole immediately close to the line i made if you watch closely you will see it's is closed up like there is no um, no line skipped will i say line yeah i skipped one hole then with no line skips please pardon me for my mistake no i skipped one hole with no line skipped then the less i will be doing I will be skipping one line. Yes, yeah, I think that's the best um, description for what I am doing right here. You skip one hole, but you do not skip a line. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Don't you love when I come around? Somebody still pull you up, then I take you down. Don't you love when I come around? Sleep, baby, 
explain so i had to use a voiceover to explain this part so that you will get what i'm doing here right here as you can see i did not start from the beginning of the line that's the line where the hair starts i didn't start from there to ventilate still on my slant line on my slant method i started about two holes i skipped like two holes before starting so this is exactly what i will be doing <clears throat> on this part till i get to the finish line the finish line is somewhere here all right so till i get to that part i won't start from the beginning you will see exactly what i did there when i'm done um ventilating that part one of these parts all right i will only ventilate i will skip two holes before i start that's how i will be ventilating on this place when i i start on one i will ventilate to the end of the line note that i am not ventilating till that center part that the center line that will serve as our center part i'm not ventilating to that area because i'll have to ventilate that later with another pattern as you can see the next line i am starting i also skipped two holes before starting this will give me a straight line when i am done all right you give me a straight line and not a slant line when i am done ventilated ventilating it you will see it in a jiffy guys here we are done with the places i mentioned earlier so as you can see the last time i was ventilated i didn't ventilate to the center line so now we're about to do that to ventilate on that part so what i will do is skip two lines i like skipping two lines for my center part so then i will ventilate in a straight line guys in a straight line here you don't have to slant or crook or anything you just have to be very very straight skipping just one hole just one hole for this you ventilate on a straight line so guys this particular part you can do it before starting your ventilating as in starting everything you can do it later all right so when i'm done ventilating the straight line 
you if you notice very well you will see that some parts inside are still blank i have not ventilated on it so when i'm done ventilating the straight line to get the exact straight line i want i'll go ahead to fill those parts up kindly note that for you to have a straight line in your closure you have to cut your lace very straight all right because any um default or defect in your lace will affect this particular area all right so make sure that your laces has a very straight line for you to get this guys i hope you are enjoying this video to this extent please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to support your girl and do not forget to also comment what you think about this video guys do not forget to share to your friends and your loved ones share my videos make it go viral thank you guys for always watching my videos guys thank you for always coming through for me subscribe and share so guys i am done ventilating the straight line as you can see so what i am doing right here is to open it up open up that straight line that i did the hairs in that straight line so i can fill up the gaps there so that it will be full okay So right here, what I'm doing is, since I use um, a canicolon hair, that's an, a fiber hair or attachment hair, synthetic hair, whatever you want to call it. That's what I use for this um, tutorial. So I picked up a human hair just to fill up the edges, all right? Because this is for a braided wig you should have to use this for a braided wig and you know to lay the edges you have to make it slick and in this part i will be using a human hair for that and the only thing i'll be doing is just fill up any gap i see there here i there's no pattern just fill any hole that you think is too scanty using strictly a one strand hair okay see me struggling to pick a one strand hair so you have to use only one strand for this to make it look very natural all right guys so i think this is all i have to explain on this video thank you for always watching my videos thank you guys i'll see you in my next video if there is anything you want me to recreate kindly comment down below so that i will do just that bye See you in my next video. I'm just dressing all of these sections of my face. it,